Sega. Crossovers are strange, strange things. They never really seem to be that good, but at the same time, they just seem so fun. I don't quite know why. But welcome everybody, let's play Sega Superstars Tennis. Not to be confused with the later Sega All Stars Racing, I guess. But this is actually a good deal more recent than most of the stuff I played. Despite it being on the PS2, it was actually released in 2008. In fact, Despite the fact we haven't seen Sonic just yet, surprisingly enough, although we are in Green Hill, well, not Green Hill, in uh, Wave Ocean right now. There is the blue blur. Sonic in this is actually primarily based off of Sonic 06 as a result, which is rather interesting to see. A lot on that later. So anyways, this is a game that I won't say I have much history with, but it's a game that I just kind of had seen around and I figured, hey, I've had... For some reason, I've had crossovers in my mind lately, which I know exactly why, but I'm not gonna get into that. So I thought, okay, this is sitting around, I, and I need to find something to play, and this is actually kind of fun in some respects. And so they're brief. I'm fine with brief games. In fact, I almost seem to prefer them, so. There's always illegal moves on it. So here we are. Playing Seer Superstars Tennis. Not a flawless game for a number of reasons. There are actually a few annoying things that go on in it with regard to mechanical things I have to deal with, but whatever, I'm going to deal with this off screen. It's one of those weird games where it ends on the title screen and then it fades out into black and right back into the title screen. Anyways. So I'm saying a mini game, so yes. So this is a strange, strange tennis game in that. It's not just playing tennis, although it's primarily playing tennis. Uh, one, well, how would that be? It is vaguely customizable in the sense that you can change your controls slightly, but not really to any notable degree. Now, I have not played this game in many years. However, I did do three practice matches right before recording this because trying to play this game without ever having played it before never goes well for anyone, it seems. This game's controls aren't quite intuitive. I'll explain how when we get to it. So anyways, so we can just kind of go anywhere, actually. We can play whoever we want, wherever we want, and then we can go things from there. So like most sports games, and well, most games that are multiplayer oriented in general, and match-oriented, there's this career mode, or story mode, or whatever you want to call it, that you have to play through in order to actually unlock stuff. And this is what this game is. I'm going to be playing through this. Uh, where do we start? I mean, it's hard not to start with Jet Set Radio. Well, that's the one I'm familiar with, but you know what? You don't have to start with familiar territory, you can start with Super Monkey Ball. And what something I might actually do is I might try to just play as whoever I'm, whoever uh, is related to the area we are in. So we can play as I.I. I. you also notice under each character's name they have some word, and that determines what their strengths are. Although I don't quite remember what all of them are. Speed, they hit the ball more quickly. It moves, the ball moves quickly. Spin, they put more spin on the ball. All around, nothing special. Control, I don't quite remember. I think they just might have a wider range of where they can hit the ball or something like that. I actually, fortunately, don't remember. Power, I don't quite remember the distinction of, though. I would, could probably look up what the difference is, actually, but it's more notable. Uh, I will just use them. And it is noticeable the difference between different characters. Oh, I against I, I. That feels really uh, improper. So as you can see, though, we already have half the entire cast not unlocked. You, are we going to load any of those cast members? The grand reveal, Mimi. So as you can see, we are already getting characters you don't have thrown in our faces. Doo doo. So you have an odd choice of games to include in this crossover. It's not actually that big a crossover either. Not that many games included. And which camera do I want? Oh, uh, is there anyone camera mode I can use for doubles? I guess so. I actually haven't practiced doubles. Oh, what? what What was that? So I, I discovered something very interesting about the, the options earlier. I discovered that... Okay, that's not very interesting. So I discovered that there are options for the narrator. Those options include male, female, and crazy. 
What even is that? I decided to turn on crazy just to see. I expected something a lot more dramatic and like hot blooded. So really disappointed. Also, Amigo is just carrying the game for me. Thanks, Amigo. Everything's getting past him. So much for a slam. Okay, well, and I'm pretty okay with not having to work. So anyways, now that I can actually do stuff. A big part of this game in regards to what makes it difficult to get used to at first is that you don't want to be directly in front of the ball, which makes sense, of course. I can give it, take into account actual tennis, but what I mean by that is if you're directly in front of, if you are directly in the ball's course of travel, what will end up happening is so I'm not getting star power at all. I probably don't need more star power actually. I'm hearing so many of the same thing. Okay, this is when we start using spin. Go. I'm trying to hit between them if I can. Oh, amigo! Yeah, so if you're directly in front of the path of the ball, you actually won't do anything when you press the button to hit the ball. Anyways, there are actually there's a decent variety of ways to actually hit the ball in this game, which is nice. There's more than just hit the ball. There's actually oh, we both kind of have the same issue there. You have two main ways of hitting the ball. You have a slice and top spin, but then you can combine those button presses to ah make something a bit better. So what Mimi did right there was actually a lob, I believe, although. In certain circumstances, you can't actually control which kind of shot you do. Like, for example, what Amigo just did there when he dived and hit the ground. Oh man! I don't think uh, Amigo actually had as much control over the ball as he would have otherwise. Well, thanks, Amigo, but we're not. Go ahead, Amigo. My god, Amigo! How do you miss that? See, so yeah, you can do some ridiculous shots in this game sometimes if you haven't noticed. So that's not gonna be enough. Please. I don't even remember what II's special is. So yeah, I, I haven't actually had time to bring that up yet. Your characters have different special abilities. There's a lot to get into the ones in this game, isn't there? Just kind of throw it all at you at the same time. And he makes beautiful noises. Uh, usually, whatever special ability character has strongly affects their spin. And Symes will do weird things like creating adverse effects for whoever hits the ball. But Symes will have other like environmental hazards that can introduce things like that. It's kind of weird. I get double A. I don't really know how I could do better or worse than that, but okay. That's a beautiful thing to unlock. Thank you, game. I feel accomplished. I worked very hard for this mission. Mini game time! Yeah, listen, I'll go over the different kinds of balls, not balls, on um, different kinds of shots and how they relate to the world that we live in as they become relevant. Gates. Only need five. So this is when grades actually make a bit more sense, when you have all these mini-games. These are primarily mini-games, what we do here in, what was it, Planet Superstar, something strange like that, that this game's campaign is called. I, 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 I just spin. I, I is probably a piece of character for this. I you actually have to aim on this, but it's kind of weird. You need to get used to a lot of really weird games. Ah, darn it. If I get hit, i off the side by the... So at this point, I'm basically just hitting monkeys. How do I do that? Oh, because I want to hit that one. Oh, but it disappeared. So at this point, I'm basically just hitting monkeys. There we go. 
Ah, didn't mean for it to go that far at the side. So, uh, anyways, II is good at spin, not control. I believe spin means you can do the type, types of shots, like top spin and uh, lobs and drop shots. Oh, oh, okay. And slices, so especially effectively. Whereas. I got a perfect server right there. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you go up to triple A. I'm not sure. Maybe an S. But control is, I believe, what lets you control which direction the ball goes in a bit better. Prizes! You know, this is what seems a little more interesting. Prizes that are presumably not other missions. Hit the ball. That seems like a pretty good goal in tennis. I feel that I've been prepared for this. Can I experiment with camera angles now? I cannot. Are you just never allowed to actually play with the camera angles in a... This mode? Oh man, I think... Then luckily I was gonna rebound in there. You can also uh, change your aim a little bit. You can tweak your aim while you're tossing the ball in this one. Anyways, yeah, so I is not actually the best character for this. I can lob it. It's probably a really bad idea. So that's when it's not appropriate to lob the ball. In fact, lobbing is kind of a dubious thing in general. I don't know... Man, there are situations for it, I would imagine, but it's not something you usually want to do, in my experience. That was okay. Okay, but I unlocked something else. Thank you! I unlocked some music. Okay, well, music's cool, but... I'm not gonna be going for any certain ranks or anything like that, either. I'm just looking to play through the solo campaign mode. Let's go, I. Last mission of the episode. Through open gates. That really sounds like the second mission we did in the minigame. Some of the new music. Is this exactly the same thing? Oh no, the balls are smaller this time, and they are devoid of monkeys, in fact. Monkey balls- Okay! Oh, yeah. A little bit of a delayed response there, eh? Anyway, so yeah, using the character that dude, pairs up with the uh, area you're in is not always the best idea. Hello. Dude, let me aim. Okay, fine. Because signs are just need more control, other times they need more power. Whoa, what even happened there? What was that? Oh. Crap, I need to actually knock him into the other side now, don't I? Well, I'm trying to hit left to hit you may go to the right, but it's not really gonna work. Okay. I wasn't really paying attention to actually getting the balls into anywhere specific, which you could probably tell. Oh, come on, it's, that's too center, I. Maybe a little bit less center. Why how did I go in? Go! Go! So now I need to actually pay attention to what I'm hitting where. Same. Move off to the left, hit to the left. Move off to the right, hit to the left. Come on. There we go. I don't like having to hit on to one side at all. It seems unpreferable for me. I have the creativity of some of these minigames, but this is not why I like trying to hit things into the side. It's a double A. Okay, well, sure. Is anything that's p passing in zero an A? I guess that's okay. Whatever. So that will be it for this episode. Let's play 
Sega Superstars Tennis. It feels weird to be playing this for some reason. I don't know why, but we're gonna do more monkey things next episode, I guess. We're probably gonna finish off the monkey things too. By the looks of it, and we might move on to another world as a result of that. Whatever though, it's it'll go how it does. More monkey. See you guys.